Hi friends, this is Parag Pal and today we are discuss about design of one-way slab. Uh, numerical is there. Designer simply supported slab for a hall of dimension three meter cross eight meter supported on a two thirty mm thick brick wall all around. The slab is slab slab carries superimposed load of two point five kilonewton per meter square with a floor finish as point five kilonewton per meter square. Use M twenty grade of concrete and FE four and five steel. So friends, this is a um, numerical, and with respect to the what the dimension are provided, I design I draw a diagram there. Okay, L Y by L X is a dimension is provided, and uh, I already uh, calculate the effective length three point two three. Uh, UDL shows the UDL shows the what is super what is total load acting on that. Okay, so we are calculating, we are uh, determine the we are design the one way slab with respect to my all steps. Okay, so first step for determine the which slab it exactly it is. Okay, if it is one way slab or two way slab. Okay, to determine the type of slab, there is a one aspect ratio which is to be given by L by by L X. Okay, so we are determine the aspect ratio L by by L X. If this ratio is greater than two, then it is one way slab. If this ratio is less than two, then it is two way slab. Okay. So I am done here with L aspect ratio L by L X and I get that 2.67, which is greater than 2. So it is one way slab. Okay. Now come on say step number two, a trial step. From page number 37 of IR 456 2000, this relation you get L by D equals to 20 cross M F. Okay. This is for simply supported. Okay. So you know the length. Okay, we have to determine the D. So we get and the EMF is a modification factor. We are assuming the modification factor here one point five. Okay, so you get the value of D. Now we are assuming the fifty mm bar clear cover, fifty mm clear cover and eight mm bar. Okay, so again we are calculating capital D. So we need total D. Okay, so that D is to be deleted. Fifty uh, mm that means clear cover is not considered there. Here. Total D is a total length of D. Okay, so it is one zero seven point sixty seven plus fifteen. What is a clear cover assuming? And eight by two. I mean the bar uh, consider by two. Okay, so you get capital D that is to be one thirty. Now a small D is to be that. That means we have to delete the clear cover and the number of bars. That means one thirty minus fifteen minus eight by two is equal to triple one. So it is a What is the required D is to be given to you? Okay, now with respect to this D, we are calculating the numericals. Okay, now these are my first two steps. Now in step number three, every time we have to determine the load calculation. Without load calculation, you cannot determine the what is the bending moment and what is the uh, that means is very uh, important. Okay, so first dead load. Dead load is calculated by BD gamma. Okay, so B you know thousand, but it is in meter we are calculate so I can say one. Okay, cross point one thirty. Okay, so you know that uh, we last determine the one thirty is a capital D. So point one one three cross twenty five. So you get uh, so I we get the uh, dead load is three point twenty five kilonewton per meter. Now live load is two point five given in the problem. Floor finish is point five given in the problem. So total load means what addition of the dead load, live load, and floor finish. So it is total is six point twenty five. Now, what is ultimate load? Ultimate load is mean that we are multiplying with the total load with the uh, with the help of the factor of safety. Okay, we are multiplying the total load with the help of what factor of safety? Now, this is we get ultimate loads nine point thirty eight kilonewton per meter. Now step number four, we are we have to calculate the effective span. We are already calculated the first effective span that is to be three point twenty three. Okay, now again we have to calculate because from the those what is a preferable. Okay, so three point twenty three is a first uh, L effective and again three clear span was a D which is calculated from other it is three point triple one meter. So from both this value, three point triple one is minimum. So I consider this value. Now 
my next step is to determine the maximum bending moment maximum bending moment is determined by mu equals to w l effective square by it. for this value we determine the effective length okay so we are putting the ultimate load we are putting the effective length and divided by 8 so we get maximum bending moment as 11.35 kN per meter now we also require the check for depth because we already um, determine uh, one d value but what is the requirement value we don't know so for a determination of the required value we require the d so for this relation with respect to the mu equals to mu limiting we are getting mu limiting from the one that table okay with respect to the steel we are getting the value of mu limiting okay so with this uh, relation we get the value of d which is to be required in this problem for the slab and we are comparing this for first d we are calculated so this d is obviously less than that but uh, that d so our structure our slab d is to be safe okay for check for depth now my next step is to step for diesel of main steel actually i rec i want the actual steel requirement okay so it is very known formula of the determination of steel from page number of 96 ir 456 2000 okay so s equals to 0.5 fck upon f by 1 minus under root of 1 minus 4.6 mu upon fck bd square into b into d okay i put the all value remember one thing whenever we are uh, putting this value make bracket in the calculator because because um, sometimes by putting this value the calculator gives some errors because of only the brackets okay with respect to the putting all clear brackets we are getting the accurate value okay so with the first this value of the first this formula of the st we are getting the actual requirement of the ast which is to be 300.19 so we are uh, we cons we consider the 300.2 mm square okay now we are determined the minimum steel requirement okay so minimum steel requirement for the fe 4 and 5 it is given by 0.12 percent of the bd from page number 48 456 2000 so we also get ast minimum obviously from above 2 okay so maximum value of the ast is to be 300.2 so we are considering here the maximum value of the steel okay here so i get 300.2 okay now spacing is also requirement because it is not possible to only just paste place the steel in the slab okay so for that we are determined the spacing so spacing of bar is given by formula 100 multiply by pi by 4 multiply by diameter square upon ast okay so we are uh, all of all time we are taking 8 mm uh, that means we are in slab we are considering 8 mm pi diameters uh, steel bar so 1000 multiply by pi by 4 multiply by 8 square upon ast what is ast is we are considered from the above two points that ast and we are getting the spacing it is 160 center to center okay it is very important as center to center 160 so it is maximum spacing we are getting here okay not minimum not exactly it is maximum spacing we are getting here now again for this it is only for main steel actually okay we are determined the spacing for main steel here 3d and 300 that means 3 into d and 300 mm i putting the all the value from page number of 46 r 456 2000 i get the three values that means 3d and 300 and my first value what i require from both i from this this two value okay 3d and 300 from this two value i compare i compare the less value okay and minimum of both okay minimum of both i compare with this value so 160 is my first value and 300 is from this minimum value so my structure my spacing is to be safe okay so my next step is distribution of reinforcement okay distribution of reinforcement okay now distribution of reinforcement is to required so i provide here 6 mm of 5 fe 250 steel so ast minimum equals to 0 0.15 percent of b into d so i get a ast minimum 195 mm square okay is it, it is for the distribution bar okay so specific spacing for distribution is given by same formula but the problem is that here ast for the distribution bar is changes and the diameter is changes okay similarly i calculate 
the spacing but here yeah, spacing is given by for distribution wire is 5d and 450 with respect to r456 2000 and similarly i consider from the both two value this this both two value minimum and this value uh, and this value is compared with this so it is okay it is safe value okay my spacing is to be safe so i go for the next level so my spacing is to be calculated for a main and distribution now i want to check for shear stress these are the formulas for the shear stress i putting the value and get some to get the all answer now my next step is for check for deflection that how, how much deflection is to be found out so from the page number of 38 chart of the is 456 2000 we are getting the relation l by d actually equals to greater than less than or equals to l by d by permissible okay so L by D actual is given by this value 29.1 and L by D by permissible is given 20 into MF that means modification factor okay I get the modification factor from the page chart of uh, page number 38 R 452000 okay then my second value is calculated from for spacing okay spacing is required then what I done here I I calculate the spacing okay I calculate the spacing here okay now by calculating the spacing i put the value of s that particular one and uh, by putting the spacing i put the value of spacing here in again this value okay and by putting the value i get the ast permissible okay what the ast permissible we require so ast permissible is calculated from this value okay so we get the AST we know the AST requirement is 300.2 mm square and we get the AST permissible is 314.16 okay so from page number of uh, 38 for modification factor we are calculating the FS that is 0.58 FI AST required upon AST pro, pro is to be given by this formula and we get FS equals to 230 Newton per mm square then we are calculating the point percentage of the still required PT limiting okay so this is 0.28 percent we get so here is the detailing for with the respect to my this numerical one way slab so thank you for watching my tutorial if any query about this then please con please comment on me please subscribe my channel and in next uh, in next lecture we will discuss about the one way slab but with different problem and then two as left. So thank you for watching my tutorial.